Hello, Adam here. Thanks for joining me again. And today I've got a really nice colorful painting. It'll have a mountain, a bunch of fall colors, and I'm very excited for this painting. Not just for me, but for you to give it a try because I really believe that you can do it. So let's just get to it. Okay, as usual, I've got this 20 by 16 canvas. It's already covered in a thin coat of liquid white. And that's really the only thing that you won't see me do is put on that liquid white. Everything else, you're going to see every brush, every color, and every technique to do this painting yourself. We'll come up and get a good amount of Prussian blue onto a two inch brush. This is the same brush that I used to put on the liquid white. Okay. Now I'm going to start right over here in the top left corner. I want this to be very dark up here. Very dark. Good. Okay. Just about like that. Then this is probably one of my favorite ways to make a sky because it's just random and it's free. Just take your brush and just hit this canvas, hit the canvas, put it everywhere. See how simple that is. All right. And then we'll take some of that leftover blue and just put it right here in the corner. Let it get lighter and lighter. Now for this painting today, we're just going to let this get very, very light going towards the right side of the canvas. Okay. Something about, about like that. Okay. And back to the sky. All right. Let's come up here and just twirl it. Twirl your brush in circles. Okay. Good. Again, this is just a very free and easy way to make a sky. Might just be my favorite way. Okay, good. And I'll just wipe off that brush just a little. I've always got some paper towel right here just for that. And now I'll blend gently. And I'm looking for those little brush strokes that still remain that, that I don't want to be there. Okay. Good. And I hope you can see this, but this already looks like a sky with clouds in it. You wouldn't need to do anything else other than this if you didn't want to. Okay. Once you've taken out all the brush strokes, that's all there is to it. Now, the only thing I did, I was intentional to leave it whiter here and darker here, right? For this painting today, the sun is going to be coming from this direction. Okay. I'll grab my large fan brush and like I said, we could be done with the sky, but I'm going to go ahead and get some titanium white. Okay. This is a number six fan brush and just load it pretty full. And I'm going to go ahead and put in some clouds just to help emphasize the direction of the light. And I'm going to start right up here in the corner and I'm going to continually move across. Okay. Hopefully just using this one brush and just like this. So that, that'll, be the, that'll be the lightest portion of the clouds right here. And then I'm just going to take where these light spots already are and just kind of emphasize them. And some of those spots will highlight a little more than others. And it'll look very good, just like free floating clouds. All right. Good. I will grab my mop brush and blend these out kind of sticking to the bottoms all right and all i'm doing is twirling that this is a, a pretty light touch but you can feel it and then you'll leave these lighter parts right here and that'll help to emphasize where the sun's coming from good doesn't that look good Okay. That's really all there is to it. Now I'll grab my large palette knife. I'm just going to mix up a little mountain color. For that, I'll take a little black. Okay. Just mix it right here. A little crimson. And a little Prussian blue. 
I'd say they were close to equal parts. Really, I'm just going to look at it until I get the tone that I want. You can already tell I'm going to need a little more Prussian blue. Okay. And that's a really dark color. So really, about the only way to see what you really got is just go ahead and get a little bit of that white. Stick it in it. And you can kind of see that's a little too purple. A little too purple. Put some more blue in it. Okay. And we'll leave it something about like that. And let's come right up in here and make a mountain. All right. I'm not going to let the tops get too pointy. Good. Bring it on down. And right over here as well. And just scrape this out. Scrape it out pretty good. That's all you got to do. Go back to that two inch brush and just brush this downward. All right. And go ahead and start to blend out the base where we'll need some mist here in a little bit. Good. I'll grab the large palette knife again, make sure it's wiped out pretty good, and just get some more titanium white pulled out pretty good. And for this one, I'm gonna get some paint on the other side of the knife, all right? And I'll just start right here. Light touch, light touch as always. Just let it break, let it come down and break. Okay, good. Reload the old knife and we'll come right up in here. Do the same thing. Light touch, let it break right down into that valley. Good. Well, a nice deep valley right there. And let's come back to this peak right here. A little bit right there. All right. Now, we'll get some of this white and scoot it over into here. Let's come up and take some Prussian blue and mix it into there. And I'll take a little bit of that mountain mix color just to give it a few different tones, gray it down a little bit, get a little bit on the edge of the knife. And we'll just come right here. Same thing, it's a gentle touch and just let it fall. Let it fall. Now I used to stress out a little bit over these mountains, but anymore, the things that aren't perfect in them, they end up looking okay anyways. You know, you're, you're seeing your mountain real close to it, but really with an oil painting, you want to step back and take a look. Step back and look at it. And oftentimes when you do, do that, you'll, you'll see it don't look too bad. Come in here and change it a little if you need to. No big deal. Just as long as it's got some good break in it. That's all that really matters. Okay. Good. All right, it's not looking too bad. And I'll just put a little more right there. And I think we're going to call that good enough. I'll put my palette knife down and I'll go to a, a one inch landscape brush and just start to tap this. Tap, 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 tap. 
making some mist at the bottom. That's all we're doing. Okay. And I'll go back to my mop brush and just blend that. That's the way that I like to do it. You don't have to do it this way. But it's what I like. I think it makes mist and fog and clouds just look excellent. I really do. And I think you're going to think the same if you try it. Alright, let's take our large 2 inch brush, same one we used before. Let's just go right into that dark color. Make some dark background foothills. Just tap it in evenly. Let's come right here. Start right about here. Okay. And just bring it down. Let some of that mist show through. And roll it on back over. This side doesn't really matter. That'll all be covered up. But right here in the center, that's what's going to show some. All right, just bring that down a little bit for some reflections here in a minute. Just about like that. I'm going to grab a dry two inch brush and We'll do just that. So the reflections will be somewhere right in there. I'll just pull straight down. Again, over this way, it doesn't really matter. That's going to be all covered up. And right in there somewhere. Okay, I'm going to go back to that one inch landscape brush. It didn't have a whole lot of paint on it. I'm just going to kind of wipe it out a little. I'll touch a little liquid white, and I'm going to come right up here in this green, just like that. We touch just a little yellow, not a lot. All right, and let's just make some little land coming at us right here. I'll bring that on over somewhere over here, right over, right over in here. It's not too important. It's going to be covered up. And all of what we're making right here is just very much in the distance. A little, little bit of grass so you can start to build some layers. It's really all that is. And we'll go back to our dry, mostly dry two inch brush. And again, bring this down for reflections. And go across. Go across. Grab our palette knife, run it through just lengthwise. A little bit of titanium white and we'll start to see the shoreline way back here. All right, little water line, no big deal. Good. Okay, I'll go back to my large two inch brush, the one with all the color on it. And I'm gonna come up here and get some black. And we'll go back into that darker mix we had right there. Just black and mountain mix, real dark, real dark. And let's come over here and put in some trees. So right over in here. Yes, you want that dark. Very dark. Big oak tree. Bring it all the way down. And let's make another decent sized one right there. And all the way over into here. Now you want the bottom to be distinctly in front of this line here, so you have to put it down. Good. And bring it over like that. Okay, I'm gonna grab a 
liner brush and I'm just going to go right into some titanium white. Shouldn't need to thin it down. And maybe I'll just drag it right through that quick, that darker color, just so it's not so pure. I mean, it's going to pick up some of this color anyways, but we're just going to put in a few tree trunks in here. All right. Just some tree trunks, some lighter color ones. Good. Sticks and twigs and all kind of stuff. Hopefully you can see all that. All right. All right, good. Just about like that. I'm intentionally waiting to build my reflections right now. Okay. All right, now I'm going to grab a round brush, or excuse me, an oval brush, and I'm going to get a little bit of liquid white. And I'm going to come right into some yellow. Really going to have to thin that down. I got a good thick yellow. I have to get some more liquid white. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. You can kind of feel it. And a little crimson. Little crimson. A little yellow ochre in there. Okay. And we'll thin it down just a little, just a little bit more. And right over in here. We're just going to work on some color in this tree right here. Just got to touch it a little, leaving some of the dark. Thinking about the shapes. I purposely left that little trunk right there so you can see that. And we'll let it fade and get darker down into here. It's really more the tops that brings the color to it. Get some more liquid white. Come back into the yellow. Now I'm looking for more of a yellow color. And this tree right here will make it kind of yellow. Same thing. We'll let it get lighter down into the bottom. Just like that. Okay, when we start setting our bushes here in a minute, all that dark color is going to be important. Let's do this first, though. Let's grab a smaller fan brush. Let's come and get a little black. A little green. A little more green. And there we go. Let's do this. Let's sneak in a couple evergreens. Let's put one right here. All right, and just tap it on the corner, back and forth, sneak in a little evergreen right there. And fade down into that somewhere. Okay, and let's do one more right here. Just got the top poking out. It's all you really need, and you can tell it's there. How about this? Let's put one more right here. There we go. Goodness. Well, sometimes my hand gets so shaky, I don't know what's going on. This may be the only technique for a guy like me. So if you got a little shake in your hand, this might be perfect for you. A couple little evergreens right there as well. We can grab our palette knife and just make these a little pointy. And while we got that knife, we'll come down here and put in a few more sticks and twigs and stuff like that where we'll have these bushes. That'll help to create some realism, some depth in the painting here in a minute. Good. Okay, I'm going to go back to my little 
oval brush, wipe it out a little. It's got a little color in it. You know, anytime that you just need to wa uh, wash a brush good, go ahead and do that. You know, I've got some confidence in how much I can get away with not cleaning brushes. But anytime that I'm doing something and you think you need to clean a brush, just do it. Okay, now we're going to put some green bushes in here. What I've learned to do is when I think green, I start with yellow. And then I just add some green into it. Add some green into it. Okay? And that should give me a nice green bush color. And right over in here. Let's make a green bush right here. Okay. Good. Some more liquid white. And we'll make a bush that, you know, maybe a little more yellow now. Right over in here. Leaving this dark in the background. And I'll get some more liquid white. Get some more. Maybe put a little yellow ochre in it. Grab a little bit of that bright red. And let's say right here there's a bright red one popping out. Good. Turned out kind of orange. I really, really like that. Okay, leave in those dark areas and maybe we'll put a bright one right here. There we go. Don't need too much. All right, get some of that down in the water. Same thing with these other colors. We'll just try to build some harmony into the reflections. All right, got a little orange right there. You'll see some of that orange maybe from that tree up in here. We'll just put a little right there. All right. Wipe that out. Get some of the yellow color. And the same thing. Got a little yellow right in here from that bush. That tree back in there. Good. Let's get some green now. And some green from those trees, these trees, all need to be in there. Just building as much harmony in the reflection as you can. Harmony with the land. Water with the land. That's all I'm trying to do. And you can even look and see some of that dark and say, you know what, i got to put some of this dark back in here. All right. No problem. No problem at all. Okay, now I'm going to go back to a mostly dry two-inch brush that I had. Start right here. Pull down and wipe. Pull down, wipe. Pull down, wipe. All the way across. All the way across. Just like that. Now, go horizontal. That nice? Love the streaks it puts in it. just like reflections. Okay, now I'll build a little land underneath all that. So I'll take my palette knife and just get some Van Dyke Brown. I'll start over here. I'll make it smaller here, okay? And as I work my way across, I'll let it get a little wider. Bring that down into there a little bit. We'll just say this is kind of a rocky edge here. Maybe it trudes out a little right there. Okay. And all I got to do is put a little highlight on that. So I'll get a little, little of the brown. And let's just come over here. I think I'm about done with that area. 
little brown, a little blue. We'll call that a highlight color. Nice and mixed, kind of marbly. And let's start right over in here. Just let it graze. Just let it graze. Various spots. All right. That's all you got to do. Okay. I'll take that two inch brush and I'll even make some of this a reflection. There are times when the land being reflected looks good also. And for me, this painting is one of those times. Go across. That's all you got to do. All right, back to the palette knife. Run it right through some titanium white. And we'll put some water lines in here. Let that one stick out on the end a little. Okay. And just work those into little ripples and stuff until you, until you like it. All right, and you can always come back. I normally take my mop brush and just blend those out a little. At times, not always. Sometimes blending those into it can look good. All right. And I'll just get a little green. And just kind of make some grass here. Just touching. That's all. I'm kind of going down in a few spots just to get rid of that harsh line. All right. That's all. That's all that's going on there. Getting rid of the harsh land line. That's it. Right there. I'll just I'll just simply touch it right there. That's all. And bring it over the edge. Here and there. A little grass in there too. Okay. And go back through with a palette knife and put a few more scratches in there. Get your sticks back in. All right. Hopefully you can see those. Every now and then there's a pretty good stick. It's almost like a small tree or something you can see. another one right there okay and we'll go back to that same old dirty two inch brush we've been using pretty much the entire painting and I'm gonna come up here and just go into some green just get a good amount of green on it that's all nice thick green and right here in this corner let's punch in some grass and all I'm gonna do is hit it just like this all right, and hopefully you can see all these little things happening right here, little weeds. All right, looks like grass. Isn't that neat? Well, you wouldn't even have to do anything else with that if you didn't want to. And that is a great effect. Okay, let's grab a filbert brush. Go into some brown. And you've probably guessed it by now. I'm going to have a big old tree right here. So right in here. We'll put a good size tree. I hope you're, hope you're thinking about giving this painting a try. And by the way, if you're liking these paintings, do me a favor. Maybe subscribe to the channel. If you would, if not, that's okay too. We still love to have you anytime you want to watch. Let's put a branch right out like that. Okay, good. And back to the palette knife. Let's get a little bit of that old dirty white right there. And let's highlight this side of the tree.
Just touch and pull slightly. That's all. Touch and pull slightly. Gets darker up in here. That's perfect. There's going to be a, some leaves up there here in a minute, so that would be that would be right. It should be darker. And I just kind of touch and pull off and touch and pull off and kind of blend this into the tree. Give it a barky texture. All right. And maybe right at the edge, right at the very edge, we'll go back and go back and put a little bit of a of a highlight. This would probably be easier with liquid white. That's why it's not sticking so good, but I've already got this on there, so I'm gonna endure till it works. All right, I'm going to go to a liner brush and get some Van Dyke Brown on it. And let's just make an indication of a couple branches right in here sticking down. We'll put some leaves on them here in a minute. You don't need too much of them. They'll be mostly covered up. All right, no big deal. So maybe there'll be one or two sticking down over here. But again, they're going to be covered up. I'll set that down, and I'm going to go to a large two-inch brush, the cleanest one that I got, and we'll get right into some dark color. Might even have to hit the black a little bit. And right here on the ends of these branches. Put in a couple leaves, down in here, right down in there, okay? Leaving the branches show through a little bit, that's fine. That's all you gotta do. Grab our, our one inch landscape brush, I'm just wiping it out some is all I'm doing. Wiping it out as much as I can, I'm gonna get some liquid white, pretty much all over it, and come into this color right here. Little yellow, bright red in it. Maybe even a touch of crimson in this one. There we go. And let's make some bright colors right up in here. There we go. Just touching and pulling off. Nice fall, bright colored tree. Isn't that nice? Just thinking about the shapes a little bit. Just tapping. That's all I got to do. Probably don't need to do too much more than that. And let's do this. Let's go back to the liner brush. Let's, let's give this guy a little branch coming out like that. Okay. Good. And same thing. Large brush, a little bit of dark color, and right here, let it stick up a little, just like that. We'll go back to our smaller brush, get a little more liquid white, a little red in it, a little crimson, more yellow, there we go, and we'll let this be a nice bright color branch right here too. Isn't that nice? Okay, good. Let's go back to the large two inch brush that we used for grass. Get a little bit more. And let's just, let's just take care of the bottom of that tree. Just like that. Good. Grab our liner brush. Just stick up a few weeds. Just a few. And you wouldn't really have to do this, in my opinion. You didn't want to. 
I just enjoy making grass, I guess. All right, let's get some liquid white. All right, this is mostly liquid white now. And let's just put, let's just say the sun's coming in and right in here. Look at that, striking right there. Right there in a few spots. Ain't that, ain't that nice? Little contrast in there. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's hard not to overdo it. You really don't want to, but sometimes it's just hard. Okay. And with that, I think we're going to call this one complete. I truly hope you enjoyed this painting. I really enjoyed doing it for you. And if you are liking these paintings, please do me a favor. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. It would mean an awful lot to me. Okay, until next time, be blessed. And remember, if I can paint, you can too. See you next time.